Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Got another EDC video for you. And today I thought I'd do my monthly EDC update slash pocket dump video. And yeah, this is for July 2021. But yeah, try and make this a short video. And we'll get right down to it. So obviously, I always had my phone. I'm recording at it right now, so I can't show it to you. But it is a Samsung Galaxy A51 5G. That's the whole name of it. We got three of them in the house. My wife has one. My daughter has one. Pretty good phones. We haven't had no issues with them. In fact, I've recorded all my videos on it since I've gotten it. I think they come out pretty good. So, happy with these phones. Um, another thing is my Garmin Vivo Active 4 sports watch. Um, obviously, it tracks everything. Hiking, biking, you know. Walking, running, swimming, um, all that stuff. It tracks your sleep, stress levels. I get no vacations on it. So, yeah. Oh, this was actually, it's actually a refurbished model from Amazon. So, I got it for like $85 cheaper. And I have no complaints about it. I like it. works great. Um, so, I ended my other stuff. I usually have a Hank of some kind and a lot of times it's one of these Gondek EDC Hanks. I just like the size of these. They're a little bit smaller. Microfiber back. Works great for cleaning off my glasses, phone screen, knives, watch screen, camera lens. So I usually have one of these with me. Right now it's the Batmobile one. I think it's pretty cool looking. Um, and of course I have a wallet. So, I've been carrying this blue recycled firefighter sergeant's wallet. I like these wallets. I have like four of these. I have a black camo, a red one, green one, along with this blue. But yeah, you can't beat these wallets. About as small as you can get. Very lightweight. Rugged as all get out. It's made out of recycled um, fire hose. Got a Elastic band on the back to hold cash. And I don't know how many cards I got in here. Total one, two, three, like five cards. Fits nice. They're all a little bit different, you know. You go get these. Some some may be a little, a little looser. You know, I got what did I say five cards. Some are a little bit looser. Some are a little bit tighter, but. Yeah, I like these. So, that's why I've been carrying for a wallet. Um, pen. I I almost always carry this pen. Refine EP1 since I've gotten it. Um, bold action. Now, if you watched my unboxing video, um, it, it was kind of jamming up. I don't know why. I took it apart. And then I didn't do anything. I just took it apart, put it back together, and it's never, never jammed up since. I think maybe, you know, I had a little piece of debris in there or something. But, yeah, awesome little pen. I usually clip this in my front left pocket, and I always have a pen with me. It's usually that one. Um, <clears throat> flashlight. I absolutely love this little flashlight. The Rovivan A5X. Since I've gotten it, this has been in my pocket every day. Um, you can see it's small, smaller than my my pinky. Um, I do have this hideous looking lanyard on it because it's so small and light that you it get lost down in your pocket. You think I I thought I'd lost it, you know I kind of panic and have to search for it and i put this on just so it's a little bigger it's easier to fish out of my pocket it does have a pocket clip but i really don't use it uh, it is reversible but cool flashlight this thing 650 lumen so go the modes real fast you know you press and hold it goes right to 650 lumen and the bright setting you do a double click then you can go through the modes that's low 
goes up, up again, and up to 650. Back to low, press and hold, turn it off. But what I like about this is you give it a triple click, one, two, three, and you got these side lights. These these work good. Um, I use this all the time. My wife works nights, so if I go and have to go in the bedroom, you know, look for something during the day she's sleeping, I can use this. Another press, it gets brighter. Another press, it goes to red. That's what I like to use. Um, it doesn't, you know, wake her up or anything. It doesn't blind the dogs. And yet I can see where they're laying on the floor and I can look through my clothes and find what I need. So yeah, that works really good. Um, next mode is a flashing, you know, strobe light. So strobe light warning. Then you got a nice red blinky light. Work great if you're, you know, walking up the street at night. You can hook this on your back pocket or whatever. But yeah, press and hold, turn it off. Now, how I've used this several times, um, I, I use the clip. I clip it on my shirt. Sorry about the camera. Clip it on my shirt collar and my um, pocket on my t-shirt. And, um... I do this so that's clipped to the front of me one way or the other and I can walk around find what I want you know hands free so yeah this thing's been in my pocket every since like I said I put this lanyard on it just so it's easier to locate down and bottom my pocket but yeah the Rovivan Aurora A5X pretty cool light I really like that one um, multi-tools, I've been carrying mainly one tool, but I've been switching back and forth as needed. So I guess do the first one, and I just got this not too long ago. It is the Leatherman Skeletal CX. So, got your set of pliers. They work pretty good. I've... I've used them. Wire cutters work pretty good. Um, I actually had a cut. I used a old wire coat hanger because I needed to wire something up, and um, I didn't have any. I couldn't find my spool of wire. And you ever cut a coat hanger? You know they're kind of tough, and it took a little force, but it cut it good. So pliers work good. Uh, you also have the the bit driver bit holder here with Leatherman's double flat bits and um so that's cool that's the Phillips and the handle here has a you can store another bit and um I had a flat flat screwdriver bit that came with it in there um so that works great used them no complaints got a carabiner and that that works as a bottle opener and yeah I, I have clipped this to my belt loop I've carried it that way it also has a pocket clip I've clipped it in my pocket um, but yeah be on the lookout I'll do a full review on this but um one reason I wanted this was for the knife blade pretty awesome blade and it's made out of 154 cm steel so that's a you know that's a pretty premium steel for a multi-tool and i've actually you know on purpose carried only this and used it as my primary knife and you can get away with it it works um i don't know i've done that four or five days just carrying this and not not another folding knife or fixed blade just this and use only this and yeah it's, it's worked out pretty excellent so along with this and sometimes i carry this regardless of what i'm what multi-tool but i have my <clears throat> little hide and drink wax canvas pouch and right now in here i have 
Well, I have my Victorinax Hiker, and I like this one. This has a saw blade on it. I also have the Tinker that I'll carry the same tools, except for the Tinker does not have the saw blade. And it's a little bit thinner and lighter, so I, I've, I've been switching back and forth, but I like carrying the, the Hiker. And along with that in here, I have a polka pen. So that's in there. Um, I have a Olight I1R2. Nice little rechargeable light. I also have one on my keychain, which I haven't been carrying my keychain. I haven't needed to because I've been home and um so I just haven't really carried my keychain. Also in here I have a little tape measure. This is one this is a Stanley made in USA little tape tape measure six foot. It's got this advertisement on there, automotive parts rebuilders, clutch specialist. But yeah, I like having a little, little tape measure on me. Um, comes in handy. And also in here I have the bit set, Leatherman bit set, so I can swap out. I also have the bit extension extender. So if I have this. I, I also have all these bits plus a bit extender so gives me options so yeah if I'm carrying the skeletal I'm gonna have these with me some one way or the other and I've been keeping them in this little little pouch so that's that also in here I have little micro notes from pocket pens nice little notebook in case i want to take notes or leave a note and a couple other things in here i have a night eyes doohickey little pry tool plus bottle opener it's got a little clip on it comes in handy and for the heck of it i have one of these fresno lenses the little magnifier um, really only because it's so small thin and lightweight but I also thought it'd come in handy maybe if I was trying to really get a up close look at something plus it has you know three inch scale there centimeters there yeah cheap lightweight thin so yeah I've been carrying that in in there with it so let's put some of the stuff back. And um let's keep these out because I also carry a lot of times my Leatherman Wave. If I want a bigger, heavy duty multi-tool, this is what I I'll, I take. And right now, I'm carrying this in a skinth um, pouch. And I think it's the L5 pouch, but pretty awesome pouch. A um, friend of mine sent this to me to try out. Jeremy Spaulding. Some people might recognize the name. But yeah, he sent this to me to check out. I really like it. Um, it is about the same size as the Leatherman pouch, but one good thing about it is the bit set goes in and out. How, how did I do this? It must be like this. The bit set goes in and out a lot easier than on the Leatherman. This bit extender can go down in the side. Just like so, I have a Olight i3T in that pocket. But yeah, um, I'll do a 
review on this more in-depth review on this pouch so that's what i've been using i love the pocket clip on this thing get it on and off your belt while undoing your belt um unlike the leatherman case but pretty nice pouch you know i've had a lot of people recommend these to me and jeremy was kind enough to send it to me to try out um pretty cool but yeah be on the lookout for a review on that pouch pretty awesome and for knives um i don't carry it every day now but most days i still carry the artisan cutlery sea snake little fix fixed blade on my belt kind of appendix carry in front of me horizontal awesome awesome little fixed blade so a lot of times i'll have this with me i bought these belt loops you know separately to carry it that way otherwise it comes as a neck knife which would work good i mean it's not going to come out of the sheath you can see it just, just snaps right in snaps right pops off like that yeah the artisan cutlery sea snake awesome little knife fixed blade knife i've been carrying since i've gotten it um today for a folder i have my pair of three lightweight for today awesome little knife um anybody that has one of these no ergos are excellent slicey lightweight great action but yeah, I've been switching my knives up. I've been actually carrying some knives um, that I don't carry that often or haven't carried in a while. But today, I don't know, I felt like carrying this one, so I carried the pair of three lightweight. And that's basically it. So, you know, depending on what multi tool I want, you know, I'll carry, I've been carrying in this this pouch since he sent it to me um rocking this i have several pouches that i can carry that in or basically even when i did have this i took this with me and put it on my belt i still kind of threw this in my pocket the skeletal it's got an excellent blade on it like i said 154 cm um like it like I said, though, I have clipped this to my belt loop. Carry it that way. It actually works pretty good. Um, and, but if I do carry that, uh, probably take this pouch, and I'll have the bit set and the bit extender in here. And this is a pretty cool pouch. I like carrying this. Um, it's holding up pretty good. Wax canvas. Hide and drink um pretty cool yeah i can keep extra small items in here like that pry tool and um tape measure and my victorinax hiker or tinker right in there and yeah that's this has been my kind of my basic setup for the past few weeks and i guess that'll do it though um as usual if you like these videos hit the like button leave a comment down below Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Um, if you haven't hit that bell, the notification bell, you should hit it because hopefully within next several days, I'll do my giveaway video, my 1,000 subscriber giveaway video. And I'm pretty sure you want to be in on that. So I guess that'll do it though. I guess until the next video, bye.